The tournament, which is slated to kick off on Saturday, December 15, will see the participation of three Guyanese teams and one Trinidadian team in a clash of under-18 supremacy. Speaking on the organizers' behalf, Troy Mendonca of the Petro Organization spoke on the importance of such partnerships. We want to let them know that this contribution or, or, or this merge or this, this relationship will go a very far way in terms of the development of football and the sport in general as a whole. Um, it is in keeping with our organization vision, which is to revitalize uh, football at the school level. Furthermore, the core director went on to share his expectations for the three-day tournament, detailing the benefits it should hold for the youngsters involved. He also took the time to extend his gratitude to the sponsors. This tournament will just crown it all. It gives an opportunity for the, youngs for the youngsters to showcase their talent at a different level at um, being competing among the best three teams or best two teams from in Guyana and the 2016 champions of the uh, Trinidad Schools Football League. It also gives them an opportunity to see where they are, compare themselves and we hope that this tournament serves as a motivation for them in going forward in their career. So. On behalf of Petro and the football fraternity, once again, we want to say thank you very much, Anson McCall, and we look forward for a good tournament and a continued relationship. On the flip side, Anson McCall's beverage manager, Errol Nelson, explained that the company is open to partnering with Petro owing to their excellent work. Additionally, Nelson stressed on the need for football at the grassroots level. We at Anson McCall, um, over the years, have been very pleased with the Petro organization in their quest to promote and develop the sport of football. Um, as you know, at this time of the year, um, in Guyana, usually there are many football tournaments, but usually none at the grassroots or developmental level. And as such, we signed on to this tournament because we think it gives the youths a great opportunity to display their, their talents this time. Um, we just want to thank the Petro organization for having us on board and we wish the tournaments lots of success. Anai, Annandale and Christian Bergwismer Secondary along with the Shiva Boys Hindu College of Trinidad are the four teams that will be vying for supremacy when the tournament is kicked off at 5 p.m. on Saturday, December 15 at the Ministry of Education ground. For the Evening News Sport, Jemima Holmes.